Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a super exciting cake. If you can't tell by the thumbnail, it's for a famous, a famous influencer. But I ain't gonna say who. Why did I spin? I'm not gonna say who the influencer is. You guys are gonna have to wait till the end. Or maybe you could guess it. Maybe you could guess her. I was super excited to make this cake. Um, I've been following her for the longest time. We, I, we've talked briefly. She actually, she follows me. Am I like, am I famous? It's her birthday and she's celebrating it in New York. Yeah. She pretty much gave me creative freedom. I had, I had a checklist, three checklists. Not too much, not too shabby. One, it had to be green. That's her favorite color. She loves any shade of green. I we're, We went for like a sagey green. But number two, one of the tiers had to be red velvet. Now, we have to come closer, come closer. Red velvet cake is not chocolate cake. Red velvet cake is not chocolate cake. I'm shouting into my mic so it's clear. Red velvet cake is not chocolate cake. Red velvet cake is red velvet cake. So we did that for the bottom tier with cream cheese icing. If you're not eating a red velvet cake with cream cheese icing, get out. Go. Go. No, no chick fil sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I cracked myself up. Third item was Dulce de Leche flavored. She loves chocolate and Dulce de Leche, so we decided to do that for the top tier. So I did the usual filling the cake, stacking it, and again, if you're not if you're not jumping while you do it, you're doing it wrong. Also, don't that cake look so moist? <laughs> Ooh, I, I, I'm not gonna be honest. I was craving a bite while I was making it. I was just like. I didn't, I didn't, don't worry, don't worry, I'm sanitary, I'm clean. So once I was happy with all the cakes covered in buttercream, you know what time it is. Fondant, everyone's favorite, or not. Now, like I said, she wanted like a sagey, sage, I think sage is a good color to describe it, cake. So I decided to color the fondant, and it took a little time to get the color right. I used like yellow, green, blue, red, I don't know, just use the color wheel. And then I wanted to make the bottom tier this marble texture. So to do that, I used an edible image. And why an edible image, not fondant? Because fondant, you can't control it as much when you do it by hand. An edible image, I know exactly how it's gonna look. Okay, now I'm gonna give you guys some hints so you guys can guess who the influencer is. It's a girl, I already told you guys that. I don't, I don't wanna give it away. She is, I think at, hold on, let me check. She has 3.4 million. 3.4 million followers. When will I be there? But you guys can help me get closer there by subscribing. You, you can't lie, that was a good one. Here's my last hint. She's a cooking influencer. Who is it? Who is it? Leave it in the comment description below if you guys think you know who it is. And don't cheat now. Don't get to the end of the video, then leave the comment or else we're gonna square up. Stacking cakes are always so stressful because like, what if you ruined it? But you have to, have to, have to use bubble tea straws that supports the weight of the top tier. And all you're gonna do is very gently drop the cake. The secret to doing this is to use cold cakes. Cold, 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 cold. I can't stress enough. To finish it off, I added some gold trim, flowers. Now, I'm not a flower expert. I don't know what flowers are used. I know it's not a rose. A peony? I don't know. I buy you some like dark reds, burgundy colors, some white, and chef's kit. I love the outcome. And now it's time for delivery. Take a prayer. Take a prayer with me. To holy gods of cakes, please don't let this cake collapse or else I'll cry and I'll be extinct from this earth because I'm never gonna show my face ever again. And I'll probably cry again. And I'm just gonna. It's time for the scariest part delivery. What is going on with my hair? But besides that, it still is drying, but we're gonna box up the cake, have my big old box, and hopefully nothing goes wrong. We have to go to New York City. New York! Okay, so I'm boxing the cake now. Ugh. I try to use the same size box as the board, so it fits snug. By far the scariest part, we're going all the way to New York City. Pray for me, hopefully there's no traffic. A little fit check before we deliver, you know, the jacker. I'm still in my pajama pants. How did I forget? Ah. Now I'm so, 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 so upset. I couldn't go to the party. Now I was invited. She invited me, um, which I appreciate so, so, so much. But 
I have bad news. It was my grandma's birthday the same day. I had to choose grandma or famous influencer party. I couldn't be a bad grandson, but I regretted it. Let me know which one you have would have chose. Now, drum roll, please. It's Cassie from Next Level Chef. I'm so excited I got to make this cake for her. It was for her 30th birthday in New York City. Yeah, she looked flawless, amazing, perfect. I, I need her skincare routine because she's just glowing. She's glowing. But anyways, shout out to Cassie for letting me do her cake. And if you guys like the cake, hit the like button and stay tuned for the next video. Maybe I'm doing another cake for another influencer. I can't tell you all my secrets, but stay tuned.